Hey guys, Radio here with a quick tip for you today about installing mods. Now, I don't use very many mods. As a matter of fact, I have two running right now and I'm about to install a third. And I figured I would show you guys how to do that because I know some people have trouble. It's very easy. So I'm going to take you a beginning through end on how to download and install a mod. Now, the mod I'm going to get is actually from Simtropolis and it's a natural parks mod. We have some screenshots down here and essentially what the author has done is he's taken the parks and they look normally like this with this astroturfy looking green mess and he's transformed them so they're much more natural looking and I've seen a couple other people use them and it looks really nice so I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install that so quite simply we're gonna to go to the download and hit download you didn't see that coming did you we're gonna agree and download it just lets us know that it's not an official mod it's not supported by EA we already know that but I do know that this is safe we're gonna get a RAR file so you're going to need to have a RAR extractor but once we click download, we have to wait for five seconds over here, and then we're going to skip this ad. Easy enough. Well, it's easy enough when you click the button, right? <laughs> so now we've got our download going. I have this download set to go right to my desktop, so I'm going to go to my desktop here, and you can see it's right up here, and I'm going to double click this to get the, this is the package file. The text, if you double click the text, what it's going to tell you is Steve Manx is the author, which thank you very much, by the way, this is an awesome looking mod. And it tells you what it is, what it does, disclaimers, known issues, things like that. So there's useful information if you want to check that over. But all you have to do is grab the package. And I'm, I like to do this, the easy way I do is I'm just going to pull it right to my desktop, drop it off. From here, I'm going to go into my computer, I'm going to go into my C drive, which is filling up quickly because I only have a 500 gig solid state. I just ordered a one terabyte backup, thank God. So I'm going to go into my C drive, and I know that my origin games, my origin folder is in my programs file, the 86. So I go in here, and I'm going to go to origin games, and SimCity, of course. And then here, we want to go to the SimCity data folder. We open that, and we're just going to drag this and drop it in. It's that simple. Close the window. You're done. From here, all you have to do is start the game, the mod will be there, and your parks will look better. I hope you guys found this a helpful hint, and if you could be so kind as to leave a comment in the section below to let me know what other things you might like to see. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for another quick tip.